Bop, bop. Psst. Hey, you. Hey, guy. Yeah, you. Hey, come here. Uh, c- come, come here. Come on. Um, I got something right in here, okay? It's gonna blow your mind. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna blow your oh, mind. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want any drugs. What? No, not, not drugs. What, what do I look like? Bot grinder? No, no, no. I got something next level. Something's gonna revolutionize the way you fly your drone. Oh, uh, okay. Of course, they don't want me to tell you this, but uh, hey, that's why you're coming to me, right? Check this out. Oh, that's right. I got more too. Uh, yeah, sure. What what do they do? Well, the question isn't what it does; it's what it doesn't do. What it doesn't do is make any noise at all. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, it'd be really nice to have drones that are quieter. Now, there are some trade-offs, okay? I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you're getting a lot of benefits, but you do have to sacrifice a little bit of efficiency, okay? You're not gonna be flying as long as you normally would. Ah. Uh, also, the handling generally is worse. Oh. Uh, power, no, don't worry about power. These things are gonna feel like you're flying a one-bladed prop. Oh, they, they uh, it's the less, less power too. Don't ding them on anything, even a little twig, cause it'll shatter them completely. Oh, I see, yeah, they don't, they don't do much. You don't get nothing for free, right, though? Because these babies right here are relatively quieter than other propellers of the same class. I mean, technically, they're actually louder. Oh, oh, of course, because yes, they're louder. If you just measure the dB side by side, you know, you don't need to measure it side by side because actually what you got to think about is that, you see, humans, we perceive stuff in different ways. Uh, uh-huh. And so these things will be perceived by people that it's better. It makes people happier, I think. That's, that's science, right? That's science right there, guys. Oh, yeah. I see. Um, you know, when institutions who have financial interest in the success of a product give an award to said product, you can bet your life on it. Well, right? uh, I mean, I'm kind of, I kind of already have propellers that they're pretty good. Uh, and given the fact that you said like all the things you said about them, doesn't really seem that enticing. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Did I also mention? These resonate the same frequency as African bees when they're attracting a mate. Meaning, if you fly with this, attractive women will hunt you down and they'll demand your number. And you know, they might, if you don't give it to them, they might even call the police they're so attracted to you to make sure that they can get your information. Oh, okay, no, yep, I'll take six. FPV drone, and these are toroidal props. Not FDM printed, not SLA, actually injection molded, properly manufactured. It's time, guys. We're on our way to eat some breakfast, and this is that <laughs> Changfen place you guys saw from the video. Oh, it's a beautiful day outside. It is pretty hot, but not too bad, so. A few moments later. Only an FPV pilot would carry 40 pounds of gear to come out here in the blazing hot sun and fly for 15 minutes. And then also, forget to bring his BTX antenna. Ugh. All right, I'll see you in a second. Approximately 10 hours later. Hey guys, real quick. This video is sponsored by HQ Prop. They're the ones who provided the propellers to test against the toroidals for this. Sponsored by Brother Hobby for the motors. Love you guys. Sponsored by Dogcom for providing the batteries. And of course, sponsored by HackRC for providing all of the internals for this drone. So thank you so much, especially to HackRC. Sponsored by Foxeer, who actually sent these propellers to me, the toroidal propellers. I told them I was gonna be pretty brutal with this review, and they said, no problem, go ahead, review them away. So that shows a lot of integrity on their part. They decided to take these propellers and be the first in the world to produce them the proper way, so that way we can finally put this all to rest. No more FDM, no more SLA. What can these things do when they're actually properly produced? Now, first test will be a hover test just to see what the flight time difference is between these two. The next test will be more of a acro handling, just a subjective how does this feel test. By the way, this video actually also is sponsored by drquads.com where you can pick up your Naked 8. This actually still has the microphone. It doesn't overheat, so you can just turn it on and get your settings right without worrying about it overheating. And of course it comes, which maybe is one of the best things about it, with the Dr. Quads swappable ND system that goes across all of your gear in FPV. So you only have to have one ND filter system for all of it, which means you save lots of money. And of course, because it's hot swappable, it's really easy to get in there. And it, this stuff, this is not coming out. <laughs> Thank you.
here we go we got the trom rom deal props on and seriously i'm actually a little bit worried about burning up these motors because i've heard people say that they burnt motors up by using these and it's so hot out right now that when this was out in the sun for like 30 40 seconds i can i can feel it hot to the touch however you know what uh since this video is sponsored by brother hobby I'm sure if I burn up these motors uh, doing this awesome test, then uh, they might just uh, be nice to me and replace them. I can tell you this right now. Absolutely it's true that the pitch is lower. I can hear that with my ears. And okay, take this with a grain of salt because maybe I'm just more used to hearing FPV motors and, and the regular props, but like it's significantly louder. I think I was closer this time than I was last time. Guys, we don't have a lot of time. It's absolutely sweltering outside, so. Aspect of the sound because you do hear it from the GoPro, but like you know, from our point of view, that's how you feel when you're flying it. It's very boat like, like it doesn't feel snappy, but honestly, it doesn't feel as bad as I thought it was going to, so I'll give it credit for that. Oh no, it's struggling, it's struggling. It struggled that power loop. This is a five inch with a naked GoPro on it. It should not be struggling on a, on a basic power loop. It feels like, like an inefficient prop, is what it feels like. It feels like it's very inefficient, which is why in a power loop it struggles, but pretty much everything else, it's managing. Now, I'm gonna fly the other prop here in a second, because obviously this didn't burn my motors up, I don't think. The, the, you know, the main question becomes, given the fact that already, uh, spoiler alert, the flight time of these are less than the three blades, which is understandable, because technically these are four blades. Um, but then, the, you know, are you gaining the benefits that you would normally gain from switching to three blade to four blade? I don't feel it. I feel very boat like. It feels like I'm flying five blade props. That's what it feels like. Not careful. Very loud. They're very loud. These are very, very loud propellers. I don't know what the hell MIT was talking about. The flight time is much less. Hurry, man. It's so hot, it's actually making my GoPro overheat. I've never had that GoPro overheat. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Calling oh, right off the bat. That's the power loop right there. That's where the power loop is out. Look at that control. Okay, so that just confirms it. Now listen, Troido props, not horrible like I thought they were gonna be, but like there's just no point. They're also just not as good. And also, check this out. I was wrong with the local on Lens really. This just has more power, so the, the Troido propellers, even though they're less efficient, they also have less power. And that's what I feel, is like why it's actually better, because you don't want too much power when you're flying indoors, when you're flying slow. Because you don't want to make like too much correction, right? You kind of want a boat. You want to be nice and cinematic, slow turning, slow moving. But as far as the noise profile goes, well, just take a listen. I think I was closer this time than I was last time.
that's pretty much it. The Toroto props are not terrible. They're not great. They're just disappointing. There's no reason why these things should exist, essentially. Every benefit that you would have from connecting the tips in some clever way, whatever that may be, ultimately is gonna cause so much loss in efficiency, thrust, handling, you name it. Everything you want out of a drone would be worse. Now, that would be okay if the reduction in noise, which is like the main point of these, right, would be significant enough, it would be worth anything at all, and it's just not. Obviously, Fox here has designed these differently than MIT, and if you're gonna claim at this point in time that it's MIT's secret formula that Fox here doesn't have, you guys just aren't paying attention. The first argument was that it was FDM printing and SLA printing, like, but when these things are actually produced, that's when you're gonna start seeing different results. And none of that, no, there's been no evidence for that. So if you're claiming that, and that just means you have faith that toroidal -to props are gonna work, but that's not based off of science or evidence at all. There's a reason why MIT muted the audio when you actually were supposed to hear what the toroidal -to props sounded like. It came up with uh, this, this initial concept of using uh, this. They muted it. Wow. Well, because um, yes, it does lower the pitch. And so that, that's that's a thing, right? That's a thing, it does do that. They weren't lying about that, but it's also louder. Uh, it is a four bladed prop compared to a three bladed prop, but that's a bit hard to calculate the actual surface area of prop. So the more prop you have, the more thrust you should have, but we actually see a reduction of thrust and a reduction of efficiency. There was a lot of excuses given for MIT at why we weren't seeing the results that they were claiming. One of the biggest ones was is that it's FDM printed, okay? But then, well, how were they getting the results if they were FDM printing or even SLA printing? And how could they have claimed those results if they then were using the same thing that we all used that didn't work? Here we are, we have the propeller. It's printed out of the best propeller material that we have available to us today. And it's done with what looks to be a very famous faithful toroidal shape. Now they've made the tips a lot thinner because they found out from their testing that the thicker you have this connection, the more inefficiency, the more vibrations, and the more like everything that you want out of a drone goes out the window. So they had to find some sort of balance. The problem is, is now it really no longer does what it needs to do and that's make the drone quieter. They claimed that it was some human perceivable frequency ranged, whatever that means. Okay, I'm sure that's, someone's gonna get mad at me and say that's a real science, but I'm sorry, even to my ears, these things were louder and I would love to have heard MIT's propellers, but of course they muted it. I don't know how to say this without being condescending. Are, are we dumb? Have we not put up with this crap enough? Because if we wanna uplift young, brilliant minds and set them on a path that will cause them to invent things and create things for society that benefits everybody, then we have to have the courage to stand up against the people that will undermine the value of that process. We remember great minds of the past because of how much they worked, sacrificed, and how much integrity they upheld. Because if you don't set the bar high for genius minds, this is what they will produce. And they'll pretend like it's a revolution, an evolution, the most amazing genius RD100 award. It's a joke and it's shameful. What's more is them not mentioning the fact that this patent was filed in 1892. Not only did they try to masquerade their glorified science project as some kind of an aerospace engineering miracle, they also tried to immediately stop anyone else from benefiting from it or innovating on it by filing the patent as broadly as they did. So when I see people making a mockery of that which is my dream, I get angry and so should you because it's not just me whose dream is being ruined by these kinds of people especially the people who would have gotten MIT. I don't think MIT would have accepted me if I applied, but there's plenty of bright people, way brighter than me, that if they applied to MIT, they might have their opportunities ripped from them because when you give awards and clout and attention to someone who's willing to sell you snake oil, that's just something that you can't give to someone who deserves it. There's a limited number of resources and attention in this world. Let's not be so careless with it. To me, this is not about toroidal propellers. This is about a degradation of a great institution, but what's more, a desecration of an idea that if you work hard and honestly and you uphold your integrity, 
and you come up with something really revolutionary that you will be rewarded. If you build a better mousetrap, the world will come knocking at your door. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore. In fact, we see it time and time again with influencers who only get more popular the more people they cheat and steal from, and bright minds that use their intelligence to fleece their investors. Is this as bad as Theranos? No. Thankfully, it was pretty easy to debunk this. I mean, I did it just by looking at their video. And here they are right in front of my face, and guess what? Well, okay, just to be fair, just to be fair, they're not as bad as I thought they were gonna be, okay? They're not as bad as I thought they were gonna be, but they definitely are, in no way, shape, or form, a propeller that anyone would ever want to buy. Most of the channels that gave these favorable reviews got way more views than me. Hey, that's how you make it, right? You just lie and go along with whatever fantasy the person asks you to go along with. Then to tell them, hey, I don't wanna be the bad guy, but actually that's just total BS and you're gonna waste your money and time. They won't like you in the moment. They'll even fight you. They'll even say that you're a bad person. But the day that comes along where they realize that you are the only person who told them the truth, you'll be their best friend. And that's what I'm banking on. I'm playing the long game. Guys, this is Dr. Quads. I'll catch you next time. Oh,